Welcome to It's a Grand Life. Did you know that in the United States alone, 2.4 million kids are being raised by their grandparents or other family members other than mom or dad? 2.4 million. It's a Grand Life is a podcast for those grandparents and kinship caregivers who are committed to making a difference for those kids. Grand families are in every neighborhood, every city, tribe, and territory nationwide. If this is you or someone you love, this podcast is for you. Our goal is to offer hope and resources to help you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us wherever you get your audio podcasts and leave a review. Every new subscriber and review helps us reach others that need assistance. Welcome to another episode of It's a Grand Life. Hello. We'd like to welcome you all again to another It's a Grand Life. And you are going to be so blessed today when you meet our guest and you hear about the potential pivot for It's a Grand Life and how we are trying to take a real hard look at how can we really be a blessing to the community we support the grandparents and kinship caregivers that are struggling financially because they did not anticipate that they were going to be caring for one, two or three of their grandkids. Of course, they didn't refuse the role, but it's just been a financial challenge. Our expert today is very much familiar with financial challenges. His name is Mark Alexander, and he's a professional fundraiser from a company he started called Life Raise. His heart is like our heart. We want to serve the, the grand families and the kinship caregivers throughout this country. And Mark brings all these years and, and areas of expertise that we don't have. And we think in the long run, it's going to be a huge blessing for what we're trying to do here. Mark, welcome to It's a Grand Life. And tell us a little bit how you got into this role at Life Raise and the impact you're having throughout Michigan and around the country. Absolutely. So Craig, first, it is an honor and pleasure to be on the show I want to thank you. For those viewers who might be viewing for the first time, if you have not followed and watched um, the amazing work Craig is doing, you need to. That's what got me so excited about today. And I've been looking forward to this moment all week, my friend. So my name is Mark Alexander, founder and CEO of Light Rays. To give you a good understanding about what we do and how we got here and following in our purpose, just like you are, Craig. Back in 2008, I was a struggling senior at Cary University. We had maxed out student loans. I had over $130,000 in student wow. loans. And I was at this pivotal point where I could not take out any additional loans. Uh, my mom, who was going through cancer at the time, could not sign for any more parent loans. And even my grandma, who was trying her best to help us out, couldn't help. And what I realized in that moment, the father would send you through trying times to humble you to get you ready for that next level. And I spent that year still doing great things with my nonprofit at the time in the city of Flint, Pontiac as well, Detroit, constantly praying and, and fasting for these opportunities. And then on March 26 of 2009, someone gifted me with an anonymous $16,000 to pay for my last year of college with the one request that I paid this gift for. That, my friend, became a mustard seed of faith that showed me as long as you walk in your purpose and you do the Father's will, he will always make a way. For me, that was the moving of mountains, the parting of seas, because I was able to walk across the stage that following December, which then planted the seed to start Light Rays. So we're now one of the unique platforms that's helping fundraisers and students all around the world raise money for amazing causes. We originally started off at Light Tuition, where we help students around the world raise money for tuition that was sent directly to their school to remove the burden of debt. And then as we continue to evolve in this amazing walk, we realize that there's amazing causes, nonprofits, organizations doing great things who just need the tech support, fundraising solutions, or and at the end of the day, software to scale up. So we started the White Labor Software, the organizations from here to Australia to Kenya, and it's been beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That is an amazing introduction. And uh, I had no idea you were in Kenya and all, all the, these other parts all over the world, but this idea of helping folks that are, uh, especially students who are struggling with student debt, it's so timely, Mark. I mean, we've got, it's a, folks are talking about forgiving loans at a national level and what have you, but that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about helping folks come alongside them, giving them the skills to manage their resources and, and, and start off on a kind of, kind of fresh and clean slate and, and so how has that been going so far it has been exciting i will say 
from a light tuition, which is our platform for students. It has been enjoyable. That is the way I wake up every day knowing that I'm fulfilling my purpose to help students. And what we've learned over the years is we don't want schooling to get in the way of people's education because the traditional four-year education isn't always the path. You have trade school, you have certification, and what we realize is we don't want people to be pigeon-toed into this is the only pathway to success. Trade schools, we see so many now electricians who are making amazing incomes and livelihoods because there has been a drought for electricians. Right. When I, uh, if we have something wrong at the house and I can't fix it, sometimes you have to go to these big box organizations. And back in the day, I'm kind of dating myself as well, you can reach out to a local electrician or plumber who had that skill set. So we realized education isn't just about paying for the tuition, but edifying people on what success and careers look like for them. So that journey has been excited, but now we want to really dig our roots here into the state of Michigan. Always grow your branches, but never forget your roots. We're born here, we're gonna stay here, and we're gonna grow real big here as well. That's absolutely terrific. And and it, it's it's not just you. You have a whole team that specializes in this. And absolutely. and and uh, uh, so what has been the response of some of the students that you've been able to help? And and how has that changed the trajectory of their future without this burden on their back? I will say this, the students' responses have been great, but it has been the parents' responses that have been overwhelming because it's a lot of times they can't afford to help their student. You, when you think about this, we tell our young people at a young age, we want you to grow up and be anything that you can dream. I remember as my own self, I tell my mom, I want to be a, a rocket uh, a scientist. I want to be an astronaut, I want to be an engineer, but then life sets in and you realize those pathways aren't affordable to a mass majority of people around the country. And we start to tell our children to dream less, dream more, what we like to say realistically, where that goes against what we teach them at such a young age. We want them to be bold, courageous, and strong and going afterwards. And when you hear parents say, thank you for allowing us to give a pathway to our child to dream bigger, man, that is a, uh, that's rewarding because to be able to walk in my purpose, to do things that I thought impossible due to the father's will feels amazing. So to give that same level of breath of relief and inspiration to parents gives me more joy than actually hearing the students say, thank you, like tuition and like raise for your help and support. So it's been amazing and the response have been great. You know what, I've been learning a lot, Mark, about um, the two different worldviews that we see in the world. The one is a scarcity worldview that there's not enough for everybody. And and uh, you and I have got to compete because I want what you have because there's not enough for me. And the, the other worldview is one of abundance. Mm. That, that uh, And and uh, and we know from the scriptures that, uh, that, that, that my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And that's mm. not a scarcity mindset. It's an abundant mindset. And, and I'm hoping that uh, the students that participate in the Life Tuition Program I enter that program with the idea that not only can I do all things, but I can get all things provided as long as I'm living in the center of the will of the one who created me. And what an outstanding opportunity to lead such a positive legacy in our country right now when we need it. We are divided. We're fighting over this and that and the other thing. But all you're talking about, hey, uh, young man, young lady, what, what are you dreaming about? Where do you mm -hmm. want to go? Let's come up with a plan to get you there. And uh, that's what's so exciting about the work you're doing. And it's uh, um, and it, it's it, the ripple effect is going to be going on for decades. And if you help one student and they pay it forward the same way you did, it changes the game, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely, my friend. And you said something that I think is important, if I can just share briefly, is how we're going to make that change. But again, when you're on this walk, the amount of abundance when you ask of those fathers who created all things. When you think about it, I had this shirt on, it says, faith the size of a mustard seed. When you have that seed, it grows both upward, but I think sometimes we forget that it grows downward as well to sink those roots in, to have a good foundation. And to any student and parent out there that might be going through, or even nonprofit that might be going through a challenging time, it's not to break you down, but instead to get ready to build you up because you have to be deep rooted in your purpose and your walk to understand that when he sends you upward, nothing can make you 
go down, waver, shake, or be broken because you're deep rooted, not only in your walk, your purpose, but your faith. And you're going to get to some very dark and challenging times. And it's to remind you that he will always come through. There's an old saying I used to hear growing up. He might not be there when you want him, but he is always on time. And it's to let you know that no matter what you're going through, there's some lesson because he chastised us, not for his own benefit, but our profit. So there's an abundance out there when you tap into him and lean on them for that support. So I agree, my friend. And, and not only is there abundance, but you know, the, a lot of folks are selling that the, you know, that, that everything could be perfect. And the, the, you know, the journey isn't perfect. We, right. it's, it's mysterious. It's a, a journey of faith. You know, we're, we're trying to, we're walking by faith, not by sight. Mm. And it's, it's, and there is some fa fallibility built in. We make mistakes. We learn through our failures. We don't, you know, we don't want to wallow in them. But I've learned, you know, as my mom used to say, we grow in the valleys, not on the mountains. Ooh. And when we are just banging our heads and frustrated with, with this turn or that turn, that's when he shows up. And it's, it's, uh, and it is to build our faith. Mark, you said that earlier, and it's, it's so true. The challenges we have are made to sharpen us. And, and, mm. and he keeps calling us upward, not downward. That's right. So I just, I just want to encourage your whole team at life raise and life tuition i think this is just absolutely terrific program and i'm really looking forward to chatting with you next week when we talk about how we are partnering together to assist grandparents and kinship caregivers in helping provide necessary funds for folks that are struggling to, so that they can make ends meet and, and maybe help their uh, their grandkids get on the right footing and what have you we uh, we don't want to just look at the uh, the problems that we're identifying and just talk about them. We want to be, as you said, well, we ought to be doers, not just hearers, right? That's right. That's absolutely right. Because how it says, uh, you should know a man, not by his faith, but by his works. So when you're doing the works, they're going to know exactly who you are and of whom you are. And that's going to stand out all the time. So be before we... we uh, uh, sign off for today, Mark. If one of our listeners wanted to reach out to you, they had questions about this tuition program, or they had questions about all the work that you do at Life Raise, what's the best number to, to or best best way to get in touch with you? Absolutely. So we're going to share both our number because our company, Light Tuition, is also under the parent of brother, Light Raise. So our phone number for our corporation is 586 819 0091. And that way you can connect with a team member, whether it's for light tuition for your students educational journey or for light rays if you're looking for software then of course our websites is going to be www.lightrays l-i-t-e rays r-a-i-s-c dot com and that way you can connect with us whether it's for light tuition light emerge or light rays but we are here to help and just let us know how we can be an assistance to you and the whole idea with light rays is that you're moving upwards that's right. and that, that's that's the whole concept Mark, you, I, I know this is your first time on It's a Grand Life. I have a feeling we're going to be talking a lot on this platform. I'm going to be sharing uh, where things are going with this outstanding uh, joint venture that we're talking about. And I look forward to sharing that with our audience next week. So thanks so much for being our guest here on It's a Grand Life. My pleasure, my friend. Thanks again for having us. I look forward to reconnecting soon. Thank you for joining us today for It's a Grand Life. It's a Grand Life provides vital content, regulatory updates, and subject matter experts that are committed to supporting the 2.4 million kids and their caregivers from every neighborhood, every city, every tribe and territory nationwide. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or wherever you get your podcasts and leave a review. Every new subscriber and review helps us reach others that need assistance. As caregivers, we are united in purpose. We are driven by hope while providing strength for today and hope for tomorrow. We are truly making a difference in while living the grand life. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, please reach out to us, but we'll see you next time for another It's a Grand Life. Thank you for joining us.